been a whirlwind week at Rhode Island State Beaches. First, Portuguese men of war were found and even stung some swimmers. And now high surf and debris has closed two state beaches to swimming. I'm Mike Montecalvo. And I'm Shannon Heggy. Lifeguards even found something disturbing in the sand, leading them to put out cones along the shoreline. 12 News reporter Amanda Pitts was at the beach earlier today and has the latest on the discovery. The red flags are flying at two state beaches, meaning no swimming. That's because of high surf and debris, but it's what's in some of that debris that has people concerned. Well, we got debris everywhere. <laughs> at Musquamacate and East Matunic State Beaches, piles and piles of driftwood and other debris litter the sand after rain pummeled the state on Sunday. It's unbelievable. I've never seen it like this. And in the debris at East Matunic, as many as 25 syringes were found. These photos from the DEM showing what lifeguards and trash pickup crews collected Monday. We expect during storms and after storms to clean up beaches and to have seaweed on the beaches and, you know, and to have to rake that up. And we expect to have driftwood on the beach and other junk, you know, plastic bottles and, and cans. But when we saw, you know, hypodermic needles, that's creepy and that's scary. The discovery causing beach managers to put cones along the high tide line where the syringes were found, so people stay away. Lifeguards were seen telling beachgoers who passed the line to back up. You're not always looking where you're walking, right? You know, on, on a beach. I mean, there's so much stuff out there in the water, I'm not surprised to hear it, you know what I mean? Both beaches were closed to swimming due to both debris and high surf. Mike Healy from the DEM said they may never know where the syringes came from, but it's likely from people not disposing of them properly. You know, what's here in Providence, what's in East Providence, what's in Warwick, if it's, if it's on the ground or gets on the ground during one of these rainstorms, it's going to end up in the ocean. The DEM will announce on Tuesday morning whether or not the beaches will reopen to swimming. Beachgoers in the meantime were content to sit in the sand and say they'll try again to swim later this week. Maybe by the end of the week, it's all cleared out. I might come back by the end of the week if the weather's nice. <laughs> in South Kingstown, Amanda Pitts, 12 News.